Update. Uber CEO Travis Kalanick gave in to pressure from five major shareholders on Tuesday and announced he was resigning from the company. That comes exactly a week after he decided that he would take some time off, just as the results of an investigation into widespread mismanagement and a toxic work culture under his leadership were revealed. His departure leaves the ride hail company that has spent the better part of 2017 fighting public scandals without a coup, CFO, CMO, and, now, a CEO. So who will be running the company while its board searches for someone to replace Kalanick? The famously combative executive is leaving the ride hail company in the hands of a number of his direct reports only a few of whom are C-suite executives. Part of that is because the company has seen a parade of executives either resign or be terminated in the last few months. That includes the company's president Jeff Jones, its SVP of engineering Amit Singhal, its head of finance Gautam Gupta and more. That is, of course, all subject to change as Uber continues its search for a coup, which the company hopes to make an announcement about soon. The priority right now is finding a replacement for Kalanick, but if that doesn't happen first, the coup will likely lead the charge in the interim. Here are the executives that have come and gone in the last few months, until then, this handful of Kalanick's direct reports will be running the day-to-day -day of the business. Here's the rundown of what th. 